Hey, welcome to Board Game Today. I'm Brad, and my hands is a Space Marine Blood Angel Intercessor from Joy Toy. Now, Joy Toy has been doing um, toys with Games Workshop, one of the big things from this year. Uh, Games Workshop's really been expanding as far as um, licensed things, and that includes toys. Joy Toy, I think, has been one of the best of that, of the toys that have come out so far. Really, really good uh, figures and wide variety. Uh, so let's check this out. So the big thing is, obviously, this is a Blood Angel Intercessor. We've seen Space Marines before already. Uh, I believe their squad of Intercessors has been one of them. Uh, but those have been Ultramarines mostly. Uh, they've expanded with Blood Angels and Space Wolves so far. And we've got uh, more coming down the road. Black uh, Templars and Imperial Fists are coming. So the question is... These figures, these particular figures, like, what is being done to make them stand out so that they're more than just, you know, Ultramarines painted red? So this is kind of the big question we're going to be, uh, we're going to have when looking at this. Uh, so standing up, no problem at all. We've never really had much issue as far as that for figures. Let's do our movement test, foot moves, toe moves, to the side to side. Good solid movement on the knee, hip, really solid waist back and forth up and down arm all around good in that department elbow and he's going to touch his nose uh, wrist solid movement there head up and down back and forth um things that already stand out to me is it's interesting is that for this figure the uh, the gun holster and the uh, back uh, pouches are actually on the figure when you pull it out as well as the backpack. Some of these uh, you've had to put together, uh, put the various pieces on. So the fact that they're all together I think is really, really interesting. Uh, as far as paint job, let's go with that. You know, obviously it's a blood angel. It looks very much like a blood angel. It's got the nice uh, yellow teardrop on the side. We've got the blood angel logo on the left hand side. Uh, it's not just straight red. There's a nice shading going about it. And then we've got the skull on the knee. So as far as design, color, all that, it looks really good. Uh, details of it are, are pretty solid. We get, you know, oh, we also have that rule up there. Um, details, it, you know, the Space Marines, I think, have all looked really, really well and captured um, what they are. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know what, what else to say. Uh, as far as extras, we've got two sets of hands, so four hands extra total. Bolt pistol, the clip does come out, which I think is actually really, really cool. Um, and the bolt pistol, uh, detail-wise, the barrel is, is uh, out, which is good, is drilled out, so there's a hole there. Uh, coloring is pretty good. We get the kind of the black and the silver, the little kind of dry brushing. Uh, it looks good with that. You know, very basic, but just done. Like, it's not just a solid color, which doesn't always look great. You know, even just a slight dry brushing makes a difference. We got a chain sword, very similar to that. Uh, we got black and silver, uh, nice bronze, gold, whatever you want to call it, skull on the end. I think it's pretty standard what we've seen before. Again, nice shading, does a little bit of, uh, of uh, detail on it to make it stand out. And then we actually got the what, intercessor bolt gun, I believe this is what these are called. Um, not really a marine player, so excuse me. Uh, again, barrel cut out, really good. I do see a mold line. I'm seeing more and more mold lines that are becoming noticeable, so I don't know if I'm just noticing them or this is uh, becoming a thing. Uh, but overall, again, like the pistol and the chainsword itself, um, some nice shading to it. So it looks pretty pretty solid as far as that. Let's get it in the hands and get a little bit of posing. Uh, the other thing I, like, I do like with these, it's generally been really easy to get... Uh, the weapons in the hands and, and move hands. I think the ball joints are maybe the only issue and that they do pop out fairly easy, uh, but generally are also pretty easy to get back. You see, gun goes in, no problem at all. Not really much of a, a fight when it came to comes to that. And the posing on it, I think, is really, really good. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's nice. Like, you know, this isn't anything that's jumping out at me a ton. So really, I mean, if you're a Space Marine player, you don't want the Ultramarines, you want to go Blood Angels, this is a nice alternative than uh, the, the Ultramarines and then like painting it. Um, you know, it's just a nice figure, I think, continuing the Joy Toy uh, stuff really well. It's got the green lens, which is nice, nice shading. It's just a good, solid figure to add to the collection. Said it's gonna be really fun that I think they've got enough coming out that you're gonna be able to you're gonna be able to play some uh, games maybe with your Joy Toy figures eventually. Um, so yeah, I mean, we might have to do that at some point. Uh, oh, so overall, you know, if you're a Blood Angel fan, I think it, it works and works really well. 
you can get yours. Uh, we'll have a link underneath this video or a few links. Most likely there'll be affiliate links so we do get a small percentage by doing that. You'll support our site, so thank you. And just watching our videos, you support us, so thank you for that. If you are into games, board games, role-playing games, miniature games, card games, whatever, tabletop games in general, check us out every single day at boardgametoday.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, and TikTok, all at Board Game Today, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep rolling that dice and get your game on. Hey, thanks for watching Board Game Today. We always appreciate your views and your support, but there are so many ways for you to support our site. Not only can you do right here on video, but you can go and check us out at BoardGameToday.com where we have more news, reviews, interviews, everything you could ever want. But since you're here, if you could, you can always give us a like, subscribe, or share our videos or watch something else. As always, much appreciated and get your game on.